This is a video about installing Dialog EPL under Windows 7. Assuming that you have downloaded a zip file containing a version of Dialog, in this case uh, version 13.2, classic, 32-bit, then uh, all you have to do is unzip it into a folder and extract everything. Once extracted, all you have to do is double-click on the Setup program. When you double-click on the Setup program, it automatically opens up your browser to show you some installation tips and other information that may be relevant. Dialog comes with an IME, a Input Method Editor, which is a program for Windows that allows you to enter characters in any language of your choice. For example, you could have a NIME for Russian, another one for Chinese. There is one for APL. It comes with APL and allows you to enter APL characters, not only in the session of APL, but also in any Windows product like Word, Excel, Access, and so on. In this case here, because we're installing the classic version of Dialog, we don't need the IME. But if we were installing the Unicode version, it, which would be the same installer, then this here would be available. In my case here, since I've already installed Yaimi for, in my case, 64-bit Windows, because this is what I am using, then this is not being offered as a choice. Then we enter the license number, and in this case here, because I want to change the folder in which I want to install Dialog, then I click on Custom Install to change it. I accept the license, I change the folder and I click next and then I wait. Once you finish the system will offer you to restart the system. You should do that. Then click finish and restart the system. When we restart APL we can see that there is an icon on the desktop that we can use to start EPL. The first thing it does when you open it is to show you a page containing the latest release notes and various fixes. As you open APL you get a brand new session that you can customize to suit your needs. For example, you may want to remove the docking debugger and editor and select the options to change the tracing facility, set the session and workspace size, and so on. To uninstall APL, you go to Control Panel, Uninstall Program, Select the APL you want to uninstall. In this case here, I want to uninstall 13.2 Classic. I right-click, select Uninstall. No choice here. This window pops up. I say Uninstall. I don't want to install the IAM in this case, but in your case, you may want to uninstall it. So I would click here, and I click Uninstall. Once it's finished, you click Finish. It will offer you to restart the computer. You have a choice. You can wait until you restart the computer, or if you want, you can restart it right now. And that's it.